Hi everybody and welcome to another training video from PrestaTraining.com. In this video I'm going to be providing a solution for adding a YouTube video player to your product page. So what you're looking at right now is a default installation of PrestaShop 1.4.8.2 and I've gone to the iPod Nano product page and as I scroll down you can see that I've inserted a YouTube video right above my description text. So I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube video player with the right dimensions to fit nicely in this box down here. So before we get started, one of the keys to getting the right size player is understanding how much room we've actually got to work with in this box. So I want to first off use my Mozilla Firefox Firebug plugin. I'm going to right click and inspect the element with Firebug and I'm going to scroll down a little bit here so we can see a little bit more. I want to get the information for how wide it is roughly from where my cursor point is to this side over here. That's the center column and it's in the more info tab. I'm just going to start opening up some of these divs and working my way down to find out where that is. So here's div ID columns and I'm going to get into the center column. I'm going to scroll a little bit further down. And let's get into the more info block here. See what we've got in here. If I remember right, this is what we're looking for. Now, the reason I didn't choose this one is because it gives me a different result than what I'm actually looking for. So I'm going to click on the div here to bring up the properties and look at the style. Now, the style doesn't really tell me any information. That's our CSS style, but that isn't what I'm after in this case. I want to click on the Layout tab, and the Layout tab tells me that this whole space in here, and you can see how it's highlighted, is 556 by 532. We don't care about the height, we only care about the width. But I can tell you that that's wrong, uh, because you can see that there's actually a little margin here in between the edge of the player and this space right here. So we need to size our player for the space that PrestaShop has set up in version 1.4.8.2. And we can see that the player actually starts basically at the beginning of the text, so the text also has some margin to create a little bit of relief between the edge here and where the text would normally go. So I want to just experiment a little bit more, and, and here I can tell you that this is the right one. I can see that purple border up there surrounding the blue area, so that's probably going to be it. Now I clicked on this, and I brought up the properties or the layout of that space. Now here I can see that I've got a margin, or actually this is a padding, I'm sorry, padding on the left side and a padding on the right side. So essentially that space is a little smaller than the main space, and it's got 11 pixels of padding on each side. Another way to know if there is padding or not is to actually just click on that and let's say I change it to zero. Now you can see all the padding goes away on the left which is what I did here or I could change it to 20 and then it increases the padding quite a bit. So we don't want to mess around with that. I'm just going to leave it as 11 and that will make the video as simple as possible to show you how to insert that YouTube video player into this space. So what is important is this set of numbers right here. 534 by this number right here, which doesn't matter. We only care about the width once again. So 534 pixels wide is how wide it is from this edge to this edge, which basically is the space that we have down here too. You can see that I'm highlighting this and it basically is the size of the container for the text in this area. So that's why this video looks nice and neat and it actually fits in that space well. So I'm going to close Firebug. We don't need this anymore. And now I'm going to get rid of this video so we can start from scratch and I'll show you how to insert it. I need to go to my back office and where I'm at right now is my catalog and I'm in my iPod Nano product. I'll just go to it. So I just go to the iPod Nano. This is a demonstration just with the default stuff that comes with PrestaShop. And here's my description. It's a little hard to see without maximizing this. It doesn't want to pull out for me, so 
just going to delete that. And then we'll delete this. So this is the text that you see right here. That's this text here. So what we're going to be doing is inserting that video player right above the text. And what I want to point out is that this is a great text editor. It's got all kinds of options. You can insert images, or you can insert videos, or you can just add HTML, which is the way we are going to do it. So I will come back to this, but what I want to do is, now that I've updated that, I'll save and I'll stay. And let's go back to our store. Let's reload the page to be sure the video goes away. Okay, here we go. Now we're back to our default layout. So now what we need to do is get the HTML for our video player.